Hello there, we are going to make a self jumping robot toy which can jump forward and then jump back and stand on its own feet. Like that, in slow motion, it's jumping forward. Therefore, upside is down. And now it will jump back again and stand on its own feet. See, isn't it cool? To make this, we need a servo motor which provides high torque, low speed. Because inside lots of gear is there and a control circuit is there which is control the angle of rotation. We no need this control circuit. Cut the control circuit out. There are three wires coming out of the motor. On the top casing, there is a notch which generally prevents the motors to rotate more than 180 degree. Cut that notch out, put all back in and connect three long wires from the motor. Out of the three, you have to choose two wires and if you connect with a three volt power source, you can see a free rotation. To make the body of the robot, we are using aluminium channel. From there, we are going to cut aluminium sheet. First, draw the leg, look like a L, but the angle is more than 90 degree. It is around 120 degree. Cut it from the metal sheet. I made the thigh part little thick and then file it to cut all the surf edges. Then you have to make a triangular aluminium sheet like this. Both will be joined at that center. You need a spring, so the spring will be connected there, so mark that to make a drill in that position. I already made a drill and put a screw there. Put the spring there, other end of the spring will go to a small hole and then put the nut in. You can see the spring action, this is important. I have made these two holes on the triangular part to fit the servo motor, like this. And I made one more big hole at the front to connect a screw like this. Now I'm going to use white pulley to connect this aluminium, this making it bigger. Connect that with the plastic using screws like this and then fit it on the top of the servo with a screw. Now if you power it now, you can see this kind of spring action. Now to make hinge, I have made this wooden thing. There is one slot, one hole, pass through hole is there. In front there are three drills, two are little angular, one is straight. I made another hinge where there is only one slot and there is a pass through hole. In front one hole is there. Take the bigger wood piece and Connect it at the bottom of the leg. Now you need a wire, iron wire, make a loop at the end and screw that with the smaller wooden piece. The other part you pass through a small hole and bend it. Now make these two in parallel, the, the wire and the leg in the parallel and put a wire now to make the feet, I cut two iron wire like this and to make the guided legs, need some uh, thin wire too. Now glue the leg on the, on the wood and give a proper shape so that it can stand on top of it. Turn it backward and connect to thin wire like this. Yes. Now make the shape change little bit so that it can stand on his own feet. To power up, I'm going to use a 4.2 volt lithium ion uh, rechargeable battery and power it up. You can see that the spring action is happening and the robot toy is jumping. You can see it's jumping forward and backward. Hope you enjoyed. Try your own, make your own. Thanks for watching.